good morning. Oh, Ooh, Storm Kieran is drawing in. It's definitely on its way, you can tell. The weather's not as nice as it was yesterday. Um, apparently it's gonna hit us on Wednesday, Thursday. It is Wednesday. This is going out on a Thursday. Oh, honestly, the trouble I've had this week. Oh, with filming equipment, etc., etc. I'm currently, I'm gonna take a picture. Hold up. Um, of the current setup, because I usually use an external mic and I, I've realized that the the port of the GoPro media mod that it's on is faulty, which is what's causing the issue. Because I did, I've had to do a separate video for GoPro to show, because I tested my external mic on my phone um, and it doesn't have the same problem. Taking a picture of you. Smile. <laughs> yeah, that'll just pop up here. <laughs> um, and I, forgot, I did forget to put the allotment um, email on yesterday's vlog, that was because it was a, a, a hot, sh I had to get rid of the external stuff because it was all this shh noise in the right side. And madly, when I'm at home, I normally edit with um, uh, the, the, the ear plugs plugged into my computer, but I always have the left one in so that I'm still in the room for my family. So I'm not completely like unattached. And ironically, the interference was in the right ear. So as soon as I put, after I'd uploaded the original vlog on Monday, when I listened to the audio on the um, the clip that I'd edited and uploaded with the both thingies in, I could hear this really terrible interference because as soon as I'd uploaded it, Al said, oh, there's all this noise. And I was like, oh, no. oh my God, get, get delete it and then sort of re-edit, but have to take out, yeah, take out. And then upload it on Wednesday instead because it was late on Monday. It was all too too look. look. Anyway, anyway, the, the the audio issue is being dealt with in that I'm contacting Go and GoPro. To be fair to them, as soon as there's a fault with one of their equipments, they replace free of charge. Um, out of there's no in a year or anything like that. I think it's like from what I can gather, it seems to be lifetime. And they I did have an issue with a battery, and they replaced it. Really, it was outside of its a, a year and they just sent me a new one. Once they saw that it was genuinely not working and you have to film it. So I'm, cr I'm creating a GoPro only video showing the issue. And because it was complicated using an external mic, I had to show it being used on a uh, on my mobile recording, you know, and that, the same problem wasn't happening. Oh my God, I need coffee after all that. That's just trying to explain, you know, because if I feel that this week's all been a bit topsy-turvy out of kilter a little bit with what's going on because I've had to edit out the, the bad interference. Um, and it is raining slightly, but the weather is definitely drawing in compared to the last two days where it's been really lovely and sunny, almost, well, like the calm before the storm, I suppose. I mean, we're quite inland, but we are, we're 20 minutes away from the coast, but on the east side. So obviously it's gonna be worse for you if you're south. And I hope, it, I hope you're going to be all right. I honestly do. I don't know how bad it's going to get because it hasn't happened yet. Obviously, you could be watching this after the fact. So, Ooh. anyway, cool. cheers, everybody. So, regards to the bag, the bag giveaway, you know, email me. I'll put the email here this time for definite. Um, um, and I did, what I did mean to say was, I wasn't very clear when I realised when I was editing back. Um, so the patrons only, everyone who's a patron won't be included in the general subscriber giveaway because they're already having their own little one. So I will omit their names in the general subscriber one, just for fairness, because otherwise they've got two giveaways they're in, but they've got, they've got their own one, patron only, which is, which is great because they, support me financially with a small amount each month which is really this is just me saying thank you anyway getting back to the shed it is it's weather let's go outside i don't know what the audio quality is going to be like it's likely that the the wind muffler on this is is not is rubbish which is why i ended up getting an external mic in the first place uh let me have some more slurps but we're gonna have a wander around because i've forgotten what i've shown you um, and all that kind of stuff because I can't I've, I've stuff I've taken out so we're just gonna have a wander around it's it's not it's 
there are people here but they're they're far away i don't know oh yeah so let's have a look let's go out i'll come back to the coffee so what have i done what have i done that i've forgotten to or had to wait it out i did weed all this bed which is great and uh, that's that needs weeding garlic's really growing really fast um some of my beetroot i don't know they're just too young maybe i'm not sure and so i did ask you a few of you and um, one of you made a really good comment about the gooseberries um about how companion planting broad beans being a good one i have read nasturtiums i like the idea of the uh, broad beans to be fair so i'm probably going to make an actual bed like dig i won't worry about it too much now um, i'm not sure about sowing broad beans is, is it too late i have to quickly check that and i did the common barbary barbary it's not a posh one it's a common one <laughs> um so yeah that that was just they both got manure uh, for a little mulch uh what else uh, there's no one around which oh yeah i did start the frog pond but i think you all saw that so that's great and i will carry on with that i'm kind of raising the path here because it's a real big dip um and then i will cover this with cardboard and then wood chip eventually and i'm planning on building a den along here right next to the pond for frogs to to sort of hide from stuff and there will be um things around it like well obviously it's going to be lined with pond liner it will have a very gradient slope with a deep end there and some one of you said um, mr abel to speak i said you said oh i i was i didn't know that, oh, what was it i had i can't remember how you phrased it but basically you said you wasn't sure i was allowed to do that but you're glad i am something along those lines i i did check so someone else Apparently there's, we've got about five ponds in the vicinity, in the near, in the distance. So it's, it's, what's the word? Precedent? I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? People have already been putting their own ponds in for years on this, on this allotment. So I'm just cracking on. Um, yeah. Raspberry bed, I did put a little circle of um, manure. I do quite like the look of that. It makes me think of noughts and crosses on a sort of weird way rain's coming in now <laughs> gonna yeah i'm gonna deal with them soon deal with the sweet corn soon deal with the runner beans soon um i need to sort the compost bins so basically i've dug the hole for that one i need to drill big holes in fact i need to get the drill bit a big thick one for that dig that in and and drop it in these the really easy you know these could be tippable once they've got their soil once the soil goes and i have did an online thing search and people found it very successful with the holes drilled at the bottom sort of near halfway up and then i want to transfer what's in there into there what's in there into there and then you start fresh with these trying to turn it like that and when i do add these in there i'm going to add small amounts of manure like a sort of lasagna and the odd bit of cardboard there is a lot of cardboard on these because once these are empty, I can reline them with fresh cardboard, and then with all of this stuff that's going to go in there, bung them all in. So that, that hence that sort of delay. Well, I do hope the sound quality is okay, but it's, I do know the muffler on this is pretty rubbish. That needs sorting. The, then there's the, the edges. But this is like, like I said before, this is a whole sort of winter project, you know. And winter's great because everything dies back and you get a chance to really lay cardboard down, to take out any big big perennial weeds, you know. That's a mound that's covered in plastic and I did tackle that when I first came. Because it's covered in plastic, it's got plastic membrane layers. It's really hard to dig up, so it's one of those where I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'll come to that when I've done a lot of other stuff. That might be one of my last things to deal with because in the meantime I'll just sort of trim it the grass on top of it and then there's this of course the good thing about this is now that I've started the frog pond I kind of need one of these pallets I was thinking of this one would be a good shelter because it would lie flat over there I hope this is over here 
with a bit of earth on top I mean it will rot slowly over time but it it won't it will create a shelter uh, for the for the frogs and it won't it won't collapse entirely because of those these these things you know these things this take was take a long time to rot and flatten it won't I don't think it ever would so that would start to access by opening that out I'll actually start to access it and then start to get rid of what's in there slowly over the plot leveling out certain areas because there's lots of things like that that are going on or create a new compost bin somewhere else but we'll worry about that there's always this area to think about but I do want this to be somewhere where I can sit in the shade because in the summer this place is roasting and this might offer some shade with the shed being there because the sun goes over like that anyway enough of that I need some coffee just gonna bring my basket in because it is raining right let's put you down I do um I am gonna put this up tonight today tonight oh right oh yeah so coffee should be still hot mm. yeah it is so let's hope the continuity let's get keep that up, up now irrespective of the and if the audio issues they're not going to be as good as as with the external mic despite that faultiness because that just got steadily worse i think it was starting to play up months ago because philip reed you said you kept hearing something and i wasn't hearing it because remember when i was saying about the ear thingies but now that i know i'm about to just listen and well anyway i'm not using the external mic until i've got a new media mod on there yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna paint it's it's a yeah oh i did a bit of streaming yesterday um off camera around the gooseberries you i don't think you would have noticed it's um because it's yeah but i did that i did that yesterday which was good oh and around the frog pond a bit of streaming right i think gonna get the paintbrush out and start painting that panel and that panel and oh, I hope I've got enough paint but get something on there so it sort of fades into the background oh I should have asked Al because he helped me oh yeah <laughs> Al met me at the allotment yesterday and got rid of those bars do you remember the bar and there was a bar here that the fan hung from and I will get a bar to go here once they've the, sh the the roof is covered so that that's a job for now so i'm gonna put you somewhere and we're gonna we've got to silver line this section um to get this piece, piece of wood up so i'm gonna do that and then actually i'm gonna do that now because i can paint it if i've got enough paint oh my god what a day what a few day what day is it today oh it's wednesday going out on a thursday yeah all, all of uh, and back to work as well that's another sort of thing you know okay so let's get cracking see you in a bit all right i'm just putting the thermo wrap up hey.
Oh, oh, I don't know why, but they're not going in on some of them. And the um, camera's charged, but struggling to get that one in. I can't. I mean, it's solid, and I'm struggling to get that one in. Uh, and that one. But hey ho, it's up. I can um, recharge it and worry about that later. So now I'm going to start painting until the paint runs out because I know it's near. It's not. There's not not much left. So let's see how far that gets us on time lapse. See you in a bit. Oh look, it's raining. The weather's drawing in. Yeah. Now everyone's left that was here. I'm the last nutter to be at the allotment. And I'm gonna be going to work soon. <laughs> I just wanna show you, I painted that. Painted the, the ceiling. And obviously that will go over here eventually. Um, I'm gonna worry about that minor not even a leak because it doesn't drip, but it's sort of worry about that. I'm thinking it's the, what do you call it? The roof tax that just need banging. And I'll do that the minute I can reach it. Um, yeah, oh, and painted that. First coat, I need to do a second coat. Oh yeah, and that. <laughs> well, and that's gonna stick with one coat. It just blends it in a little bit. It doesn't need any more. Um, I've still got a little bit of paint. I might be able to do a second coat on that because I want another blackboard. But I did see, look at that, it must be the in the night, the sort of condensation or of such, it's kind of dribbled chalk lines, which are interesting, because there's nothing that, that drips from there, up there. Um, yeah, let's put that over there. That was just to hold the camera. Right, well, from a wet and near, not very windy at the moment, but it, the wind is picking up. It's a bit wet. Uh, back. Well, I'm going to work. I hope you have a great day or evening, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye. Leave you with the weather.